Hi everyone, it's Christina from Witches and Company, and I thought that I would come and make my very first video on the on a bath ritual. What's the great things about bath ritual? What are the key things to know to get a bath ritual going properly? Um, what are some key elements and things like that? Um, some great witch tips. My first rich tip and my first ritual technique that comes on all of my rituals is cleansing. The first thing we want to do for a bath ritual is clean. We want to clean the entire bathroom. We want to remove any dirt, any um, trash, any dirty clothes. The reason for this is the subconscious mind, the third eye, only comprehends geometrical shapes. It is the eyes that comprehend um, color. It's not the third eye. The third eye in the subconscious mind is black and white. It only comprehends lines, right angles, squares, trines, triangles, um, pyramids, things like that. The, the subconscious mind doesn't understand that's a blue pyramid or that's a red pyramid. It only understands that is a pyramid. So whenever we're doing a bath ritual, we want to completely cleanse the bathroom and the room that we'll be sleeping in. If you're a clean freak or OCD person like myself, you're more than welcome to clean the entire house. Um, like I said, the subconscious mind only understands squares. So let's say you have your bathroom and it's all neat. Everything's perfect in its place. And then all of a sudden it's dirty clothes hanging um, on the floor or sitting on behind the bath, um, the toilet or things like that. The subconscious mind sees that and it freezes. The reason why it freezes is it does not understand what that is. We then must use our intellectual energy which is not magic to comprehend what this is oh this is clothes this is dirty clothes this is the clothes my son left in the bathroom that is intellectualizing we have now left magic because magic is not intellectual it is all subconscious spiritual and innerly so like i said to start the ritual clean up clean remove all dirty clothes remove all trash so once the ritual has began there's no distractions. So if everything's clean and you walk into the bathroom and then this is sitting there, the subconscious mind has to start all over because it does not understand what this is. It just sees a glob. It sees a mess. So keep the entire bathroom clean, the room clean when you perform the ritual. One of the main ingredients in any bath ritual for me that I do every Monday is salt. Salt is a moon element, so it's great for moving emotions, dealing with karmas, transforming emotions, purifying emotions, and things like that. So what we want to do is first, we after we cleanse everything and we start to get our bath prepared, first I light my candle saying my thank yous, letting the intentions know, um, the energies know what I'm about to do. I then start my water and add in my salt. Um, or your Arizuli love bath, or your bath salt that you've ordered, or anything that you have around the house, any type of salt, kosher, sea salt, Epsom salt, ice cream salt, um, table salt, whatever you can get a hold of. So you want to start the water. Uh, I say start it really low, about that much when you have all the salt. And then what you want to do is you want to get your wooden spoon. And um, for love rituals, I suggest to uh, stir counterclockwise. What you'll do is you stir counterclockwise, uh, counterclockwise with your intentions. I desire love. I am love. I am open to receiving love. I am open to the abundance of love. I believe in love. I create love. I desire love. Things like that while you are stirring counterclockwise into the salt. Then after those intentions are put in, you'll start the water again and you'll start getting prepared to get for the bath ritual. You'll come into your room, you'll remove your clothes, put them up. Then you will walk into the bathroom with your towel or with your robe. You will release and let go of the towel or the robe and then you surrender yourself into the water. Surrendering is the best form of any magic. When you can surrender 
to a higher self or to a higher power or to something out of your sight. It allows the universe to conspirize and to make what you desire a material, to materialize what you, you know, you want to happen. So I want love. I desire love. I want affection. I want a partner. I want a better business. All of these things that you put into the water and now you are surrendering into the water. This allows the universe to say, oh, she trusts me. Oh, he believes in me. Oh, he's allowing me to make a way. So what we're going to do is um, get into the water, surrender ourselves, surrendering into the water. I know I've heard people who say, I don't take baths or I don't like baths and things like that. In my mind, I'm like, okay, so you have a problem with surrendering. You have a problem with letting go. You have a problem with trust. Uh, or, you know, as we say as black people, black people don't swim. We don't because we don't trust the universe. We don't. We lost our trust in the universe a long time ago. So, of course, we do not swim. The water symbolizes karma. The water symbolizes past life, um, you know, experiences. So, of course, when it comes to the water, uh, we don't do it. So if you have an issue with water, you can always start low. Um, you can start in a shower and just let the shower run over you and slowly build up to the water ritual. Water rituals are the best technique. Um, sometimes when I'm asked by people, what should I get to do um, magic? What do I need? And I always say you don't need anything. We as a human body are made up of every element. What we need to do is access these elements. So if you're a person who cannot cry, you are low on water. If you're a person who cries hysterically and doesn't know, if you have to balance out that water element. Um, it's okay to cry for to be happy. It's okay to cry to be sad, but you must do both. You can't cry just because you're hurt all the time. And then when you're happy, you don't cry for that either. You have to be do both. You can cry because you're happy. Cry because you're sad. It is about balance. So, like I said, tears is the best water ritual. Crying, surrendering, praying, telling the universe, I don't know what to do. Please help me, God. That is the most powerful ritual. Anybody that, you know, that understands religion or is in religion, that's why they get blessed because they have no problem surrendering to the universe. They have no problem praying to something outside of them and trusting that God is good. God is good all the time. And that is their belief. And because of that belief, their prayers are answered so water rituals what is the purpose to surrender to relax to allow the universe to know that you trust it talk to you guys later